Hello again. So I assume that you're here because you're following a thread that I'm posting about. This is the circuit board out of the modem that was damaged. Up here is the device that's in question, or used to be. I've removed it. I've ran several tests on it. This is the test board here with the unknown device. And here I have a gas discharge tube. So I thought what we'd do is, for starts, is just hook this up to the transient generator. And I'm just going to use a current limiting resistor so we don't damage this. So this is a 2 mega ohm KDAC part. And you can see it reads 2 meg. And let's measure the current through this. With the transient generator turned on, uh, this is going to be pretty limited. I think about, uh, yeah, between 100 and 200 microamps. Let's just go ahead and turn it on. Oops. Yeah, so about 115 microamps. Again, I shouldn't even feel that. You can see. It's like no problem. Let's disconnect the meter. And again, this is with my hand across it. That's 120 volts that goes through a step up transformer and then it's full rectified. And you can see we're putting out roughly 234, 235 volts DC, 118 volts AC. So what I'm going to do is just hook this up to this small adapter. Keep our resistor in series. We can go ahead and look at the current through this. And for fun, let's just have a look at our gas discharge tube. I'll show you what this looks like, if anything. Two megs should be enough to fire it. And there's definitely current flowing through it. And I'll just disconnect it. And let's connect it back up. So we should be able to see something. Let's try turning off the lights. Oh yeah, it's very faint glow. If I were to use a lower value resistor, I'd expect that to get much brighter. Let's just try the same test with our unknown device. Again, if this is a gas discharge tube, which I suspect it is, it should emit some light. And go ahead and turn on the generator. Oh, sure enough. You can see it's drawing roughly 53 or 54 microamps. But can you see how much brighter this is? And let me just turn off the lights. And let's turn off the generator. Just cover up the face of the generator, get rid of some of that light. There you go. Now you see the sparks breaking down. Let me just get the other camera onto this. Get a better view of it. You can definitely see the arcing action going on inside. And it's definitely some type of gas discharge tube. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found this little thread interesting. Later.